Breaking news, it is Justin Fields' time in Chicago. Matt Nagy announcing that Fields is going to get his first NFL start this Sunday in Cleveland against the Browns. Not because he necessarily earned it, but because of the injury to Andy Dalton. Dalton with that bruise in his knee. And Nagy did reiterate that Dalton is the starter when healthy. We'll see if, if Fields plays well, if that is indeed the case. A lot of quarterback injuries in week two. Tyrod Taylor has been ruled out as well, so Davis Mills is going to start for the Texans. Tua has been ruled out against the Raiders. Jacoby Brissett will start there. Carson Wentz hurt both of his ankles, not practicing today, but he has yet to be ruled out of Indy's game this weekend. Let's bring in Charles Davis for more on the quarterbacks, beginning with Justin Fields. Charles, from what you've seen in the limited amount Fields has played, do you think he's ready for this <laughs> challenge against a really difficult defense? Chris, I know that, if, you know, I'm not in camp, right? I wasn't there in OTAs. I'm not in meetings, all of those things. So we have to give the respect to the Chicago Bears coaching staff, led by Matt Nagy, about when they thought he would be ready. But I think that I've been very consistent about this. From the moment they moved up from number 20 to number 11 to draft him, I thought that they should work as hard as possible to make him the starter right from the word go. I would have been trying my best to make him the starter right from the beginning. So the, the long-winded answer, yes, I think that he is ready. This offense needs to expand, and he can help do that by being able to extend plays, do things with the quarterback run game, and, of course, that big arm downfield for some more of those shots against those secondaries. Given the offensive line concerns in Chicago and, and the really talented defense they're going to be facing, what do you think the playbook should be, the game plan, the packages for Justin Fields? I mean, as a Bears fan, I, I'd love to see him sit back there, have five seconds to throw, and go deep to Allen Robinson. That's, <laughs> that's kind of a pipe dream, though. What, what do you think it should look like? <laughs> well, I think it should look as close to what you would normally do with him as possible. You're going to have to make some allowances, as you mentioned, offensive line issues and, of course, a youngster starting the game. But I also don't think that you take the playbook and pare it down so much that you make it easier for the defense. You want to have some options available for him. That quarterback run game, whether it's quarterback power, whether it's zone read, whether it's quarterback bootlegs with some moving pockets, have those in the game plan. Maybe even a little option play or two, right? Anything at all to make the defense have to think a little bit before they actually react. And, of course, getting him out to the perimeter, getting him to the edges in different spots, that will help as well. But I'm not taking that playbook and condensing it, Chris. To me, you're making it too easy for the defense. And, yes, you'll make some allowances for your offensive line. But Matt Nagy knows where his strong blockers are, how to protect him, do things like that. Nagy making the announcement today that Fields is going to start this week against the Browns because of the injury to Andy Dalton. Charles, what do you think about the fact that he reiterated, Nagy, that if Dalton is healthy, he's going to be our starter? Well, that's all fine. I mean, that's part of what they want to do, and that's their plan, and they're sticking with it. But we've seen those types of things happen before. A lot of it will be determined by what happens this Sunday. What if Justin Fields goes out there and plays a very good game? Do you really think they're going to turn back at that point? You may have said, hey, Andy Dalton's our starter, but if Justin Fields plays well, the team responds to him, and the offense moves, I think at that point, you've made your changeover. Now the transition begins. If not, you can always go back to Andy Dalton and continue to work Justin Fields in. But I still believe sooner rather than later, you make the full transition, hand the ball to Justin Fields, and say this is where we're going to go. 